Reality AI is a Renaissance tool which allows you to um, create libraries which can run AI models on a simple MCU like the one we are having here an ARM M33. So right. nothing, nothing to, no, nothing too big. No NVIDIA just in, just needed to yeah. to run this model. We're here at uh, the Sound of Renaissance at Electronica. I'm with Gaurav. Um, lovely to meet you. Hey, good to meet you. Okay, so uh, you've got a demonstration here to uh, to, to, to show us. Um, it's here, and can you describe to us what it is? The, this board communicates wireless with this fan how does it do that and what are you showing with the with the fan here yeah sure so what we have is a da14695 uh, soc which uh, is running zephyr os so and that's a, a, a bluetooth that's module. a module yeah that's a bluetooth soc with an arm m33 core running 96 megahertz so uh, and it's a dual code chip so the radio runs on an m0 plus uh, core and uh, uh, the application runs on an M33. Okay. So, uh, so you've got a chip that does kind of the radio on one core and the application on on the other core. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think yeah. I think that's that's the standard architecture we we yeah. use at Renesas because yeah. what we see is that um, most customers end up having BLE. difficulty with a single core device when you have to run both application and the BLE on the same core. Yeah. And because BLE has some timing critical things happening, yeah. and then application has to deep, be deprioritized, right. which which yeah. creates issues for running so exactly. yeah. sometimes even simple applications yeah. are, are difficult to implement. So that so, dual core architecture is, is better from that point of view? Okay. Absolutely. Right. And yeah. I think um, with more advanced technologies that we're going to, cool. the dual core architecture doesn't cost us a lot to implement. So it's not like the customers are paying us, uh, having to pay much more for that. Yeah. So we yeah. consider the kind of a basic feature uh, for, for all the range of our products okay. from uh, from high-end to mid-end okay. uh, devices. Right. So there's one of those devices on this board. There's another one here on this fan. Um, but what you're really showing us today is something to do with AI. Can you explain what's going on there? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's an exciting thing today yeah. because uh, AI is a buzzword, yeah, right? Really I'm is. not an AI engineer. I've studied a little bit of AI, but yeah. I, I cannot I cannot train a model or but anything. None of us can ignore AI, can we? It's it's being used, you know, everywhere, even down to edge devices, isn't it? Exactly. We cannot ignore we cannot ignore AI, but at the same time, we don't know what to do with AI, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We we all think we all are thinking about yeah, AI is uh, we need to do something with AI, but yeah. how to do it? What to do with it? We, 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 and it's, it seems to be kind of new and difficult, isn't it? It's it's absolutely right, and and I mean I think it's the what's happening more and more in the industry now. We're coming to a next phase where the threshold of what's needed to do an AI model and and, and to actually use AI in applications is going lower and lower. And I think with uh, with our reality AI uh, offering, Renesa is kind of pushing the pushing the button to the next to the next level where we. So you, you better explain to us what reality AI is sure. then. So this is a Renesa kind of yeah, platform. Isn't it? Yes, exactly. So Reality AI is a Renaissance tool which allows you to um, create libraries which can run AI models on a simple MCU like the one we are having here, an ARM M33. So right. nothing, nothing too, no, nothing too big. No NVIDIA just in, just needed to yeah. to run this model. And and the other thing is, uh, I was talking to you earlier about the paradigm shift in software programming. Uh, it's it's something you will hear more and more of. Is that there is a paradigm shift where you go from coding, uh, uh, right, writing a program yeah. to a database coding, right? right. So uh, that's that's kind of a mindset shift. Uh, and that's what I want to show you today, because that's what excites me Please the do. most. Absolutely. So what's happening here is this is a simple fan. Yeah. Um, typically, if you want to do uh, some detection of, you know, if the fan is obstructed, there's an issue with the fan or something like that, a typical architecture would be you look at the current going into the fan. And based on that, you uh, profile the current, you decipher something what's, what's going on. Uh, we didn't have the time to do that, <laughs> but we had something simpler. So what we did is we made a simple board. This this is what you can see. Uh, this is a Renesas DA14695 module. So that's the the, the same SOC as yeah. on here. So this is a BLE SOC uh, with an ARM M33 core uh, and an accelerometer, all running on a coin cell battery. So uh, all this all this board has is an accelerometer. So that's the only sensor on this board. Yeah. And what I do is if I if I shake the board, you will see the So there on the display is saying fan shake. Yeah. And yeah. if I just, just leave it on just leave it on it's fan running. Fan running. Uh, if I try to obstruct this fan, let's just try it. You can see it's detecting. So it's fan now saying fan obstructed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So so what's what's going on, right? Yeah. I mean um, now from my little bit of uh, signal processing experience, yeah. what I would I think about doing first is okay. I'm getting some signals in, in, in the old days. Yes, is yeah. yeah, exactly. In the olden days, what 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 I would do is okay. I'm getting this this stream of data from accelerometer, the three axis accelerometer, yeah. and I'm going to run some Fourier transform on this. I'm going to uh, look at what the frequency domain uh, behavior is, and then maybe I detect oh yeah, there's a change in this frequency. So maybe fan is shaking, but 
So this, this is all kind of complicated. This kind is of complicated. When you see the objection stuff. use case, yeah. it's the, the fan sitting over there. And so it's a very, very minor changes in the mm. fan or mm. in the, on the module that's, that's yeah. being noted in the accelerometer. Yeah. So I won't even know how to start coding that. Yeah. Right? The shaking was easier. I imagine I doing yeah, yeah. it. The obstruction, yeah. I won't yeah. know even how to start because Absolutely. it's almost like noise, uh, yeah. what's going on. Yeah, indeed. Now, but what we do now in the new paradigm of software engineering is we don't write any code. We collect data. So what do we? We, uh, we, I take this fan, I shake it for a few seconds. Yeah. Uh, the data is, I collect the data, so the tool allows me to collect the data, yeah. and I label this, the fan is shaking, yeah. right? It's shaking side to side. I obstruct this fan, I collect the data, I label it, the fan is obstructed. Yeah. I keep, let the fan running, I label it, fan is running. Yeah. Now, I create these classes, the data and the classes, yeah. right? And I feed this into this reality AI tool that Renaissance has. Yep. And the reality AI tool uh, generates a library for me. It trains a model. It, it generates a library which will, uh, which which uh, which which you can put down on the M33. So yep. it's about 40 kilobytes of uh, memory size. That little. Wow. Th okay. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't really cost you too much on the flash yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or something. Yeah, yeah. So it's a 40 kilobytes uh, library running mm. on the M33. Yeah. And uh, so to be clear, the, the the AI library it's running on this device here. Exactly. The AI but library does. Running being powered on, by by the coin cell battery. Absolutely. So yeah. it's it's uh, it's small and it's running on coin cell battery. So yeah. it's it's really simple, yeah. uh, really simple to program and really simple to use. And now, so for you guys doing this, how long did it take you to do that? To to to, to uh, I think to do that so, programming, so, as it were, or training of the yeah, system. So, so so we had an engineer start from scratch on Reality AI, like yeah. from from scratch. And uh, so he didn't know what the tool looked like and anything yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah. It took him, I think, two days. Two days. To have this whole thing running. So there's two components to it. One is yeah. the Zephyr part, yeah. uh, because Zephyr uh, allows you to. So this 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 part of the demo is running uh, Zephyr OS yeah. on this, yeah. thing, which means uh, this again. Uh, somebody uh, got a new display, and it took a day to yeah. to uh, because the drivers are already there. Yeah. So you could just put the put the display on, uh, connected to our dev kit, yeah. and you had a display running in a day. Yeah. And two days more to to, the, to run the reality AI solution. Of course, uh, a little bit more fine tuning, but yeah. but the but the the threshold to do this for anybody, even the non-engineers, is, yeah. is 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 it's it's so low now. It's more uh, more and more going to the no-code area where you know really the data yeah. uh, data database programming. And, and I'm a big fan of this uh, this person called Andre uh, Karpathy. I don't know you. Uh, he he is a big name in the uh, AI world. Mm -hmm. I think he's been making YouTube videos to teach people about AI for uh, for last two years. Mm -hmm. He left his job at uh, Tesla and started to do this. And he has been talking about this database programming for a long yeah. time, and I didn't understand it yeah. before I saw the R Reality AI tool. So yeah. I'm very, very hyped up about, excited Great, about this thing. There we are. So I'm not going to say AI for idiots or AI for dummies, but it's, it's kind of it's it's AI, AI, AI that you can implement people. for normal people that you can implement for, for, quickly and easily. And here you are, you've demonstrated it exactly. in your life. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Great. Thanks, Gaurav. Yeah, that was thank really you, good. Okay, brilliant. Thank you.